My name is Mike Mallott, high school principal, and first of all, I'd like to welcome you. We have a tradition here at West Elm High School that we started a number of years ago called the Breakfast of Champions, where we typically get together and recognize a group of students each month from our department that our teachers recognize for doing outstanding things. Unfortunately, with the global pandemic going on, we've been unable to bring not only students in, but uh, families in to celebrate. We would normally have coffee and juice and donuts, and you get a chance to hear from each of our staff members talk a little bit about your son or daughter and the wonderful things they're doing. We've been creative and have some great staff members who found a way for us to continue that tradition, but now it would just be virtually. So first of all, I'd like to say congratulations if you got a chance to view this video. It's because your son or daughter was selected as one of our recipients of the award. You'll soon get a chance to hear from our staff members who nominated each of the students and talk a little bit about each one of them. Uh, one of the things I would share with you is that we do this normally on the first Friday of each month, and I oftentimes share with all of our students and staff and families that that, that it's probably one of the most enjoyable ways for me to start my work week and or work month, and I look forward to it each and every year. Obviously, this is a little bit different than that, but again, congratulations to not only our students, but to our families, and thank you to our staff for the time and efforts you put in for nominating our kids. Thank you much. Hi, I'm Jason Holter. I am the business and marketing teacher here at West Elm High School, and my students of the month are Breezy Hoffmeister and Evan Domney. Uh, Breezy and Evan have had an incredible run as school store managers this year and have had just an unbelievable task in front of them uh, because the school store hasn't been opened. So generally the managers have to manage the retail class and have to schedule employees and, and learn the skills of management and they haven't, had to, haven't been able to do that this year uh, because of our circumstances. So instead, they've spent the semester coming up with the most unbelievable and creative ideas uh, to be able to still sell merchandise and still get the rest of the class to have a full um, and amazing experience in the retail class. So Evan and Breezy have just done such a remarkable job, and they have persevered through so much, you know, through, through virtual learning, um, through crooked shirts that, that came out uh, not quite the way we had hoped, uh, through the printing press, getting print and ink upside down in them to where they had to scrape it all off. Uh, these kids were, were definitely uh, such hard workers and remarkable, uh, remarkable kids. I'm so happy to have them in class, and I'm proud of them for being students of the month. Thank you. Brittany Perry and I and Miss Bishop are nominating uh, Olivia Elam on behalf of the English department. We wanted to nominate Olivia for the English or the ELA student of the month because she is a wonderful asset to our classroom. Olivia is very hardworking and she has a very positive attitude. Um, she comes to class completely prepared every single time and she actually expressed to us that in the past she had struggled some with school um, and we're just so proud of her because we have not seen that this year. We feel like she's a rock star and she works super hard. Um, she tries her best in every single situation, every assignment that we throw at her. She's always persevering and asking questions if she needs to. Um, we're also nominating her because this has been a really challenging semester and she has managed to stay consistently on top of all of her homework. Um, she hardly ever has anything missing and if she does, she gets it done super quickly. Um, everything that she does, she does with a great attitude and even in class participation, she engages with us and she answers our questions when everybody else just stares at us sometimes. So we always appreciate that she's willing to take chances and answer really difficult comprehension class uh, questions in class as well. Um, so Ms. Bishop and I again 
Olivia, we're really proud of you. We're so excited to have you in our classroom. We appreciate all of your hard work, all the efforts you've put forth so far this year, and we are excited to have you again next semester. My name is Quentin Brown, the high school art teacher here at West Salem. Uh, just wanted to take a little time today to talk about Miss Reagan Sage. She was nominated by me for the Breakfast of Champions Art Student of the Month uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, one of them is she's taken this long, long journey into uh, the art world and specifically visual art uh, and really has been working hard at honing her craft and her technical abilities. Uh, she's been working across all different kinds of media, drawing, painting, printmaking, mixed media, and she excels at all of them. Uh, you know, very few students can transfer ideas from one media to another with such proficiency. Another reason I'm nominating Reagan Sage uh, is because recently she was accepted into the Minneapolis College of Art and Design, which is a very prestigious school. Uh, she's put a lot of hard work, time, and effort in not only into applying into that college, but also into the artwork and creativity and dedication that it takes to get a portfolio review there, and also to be accepted into the college uh, based on her artistic merits. Uh, Reagan is one of those few students that seems to eat, breathe, and sleep art. Um, she's working on art all the time, not just for class, but just because she wants to get better, and it's because it's part of who she is. And just really wanted to take the time and honor her for the work that she has done, her dedication to her craft, uh, congratulate her on her accomplishment in getting into uh, Minneapolis College of Art and Design, and just to let everybody know how much of a well-rounded student and excellent artist that she is. Buenas tardes. Uh, my name is Becky Tower and um, I am part of the World Language Department here at West Salem High School. And this month I nominated Will Silbaugh to be the World Language Student of the Month. I nominated Will because he is a very upbeat student who just has this awesome personality that you just want to be around him. So um, Will oftentimes he comes to class uh, first hour and he is trying to engage others in relevant and meaningful conversation. And it's so nice to see, um, you know, that, that he wants to participate and just uh, try to make the most of our online community. Um, Will is a very kind, personal, personable, sorry, hardworking student. Um, and he's also not afraid to take risks. So in class, when I ask questions, sometimes I hear silence. Um, Will is one of the students who is willing to step in and offer an answer and I love that about him. Um, he is ready to go and he has a positive attitude and for those reasons Will is our student of the month. So Will, felicitaciones a ti. So congrats to you and so Will Silva is our student of the month. Gracias. Celebración. I'm Julie Arndt, I'm one of the high school counselors. Student Services Student of the Month for December is Jenea Bjorkman. Jenea started in the CRVA for the beginning of the year, and we found out that that was not working so well for her. Um, and so we have since invited her into the building to come in, and she decided to take some of our classes. So with the help of all of our teachers, 
Um, she has been working super, super hard, has already caught up to be on track with geometry, and is doing very well in biology, and um, a couple of the other classes, I'm sure she's going to be ready to go. So we just wanted to honor her um, for her extra hard work. It was difficult for her to come into the building, and she overcame that for um, various reasons, and so um, she's just been uh, great to work with, and um, we just wanted to honor her. So congratulations, Janae. I'm Chris Milney, a longtime math teacher here at the high school, and I had the privilege of nominating Caitlin Knudsen for Math Student of the Month. In my opinion, Caitlin is a model student in terms of what I hope to see in every one of my students. She works, she works extremely hard and is committed every day in doing her best. Uh, one of my expectations that I have of my students in my classes is to submit formative assessments. Now, these aren't graded assignments, but they are assignments for uh, students to demonstrate the skills and the knowledge that they have learned at this point. And then I give them feedback on anything that might need to be edited. My hope is that they edit those mistakes and, of course, learn from those mistakes so they uh, can do as well as they can on the exams. Well, Caitlin has taken that to heart, and she has submitted every formative assessment for the year so far and has edited each one of them successfully and has performed very well, exceptionally, in uh, a matter of fact, on all of her assessments for the year so far. So I am proud uh, to nominate Caitlin Knudsen for Math Student of the Month. I think uh, she is giving her best every day, and uh, I wish other students could see uh, her at work each and every day because she would be the perfect model for others to follow. So congr congratulations to Caitlin Knudsen for Student of the Month in the Math Department. Hi, my name is David Newman. I'm nominating Maddie Quick for Student of the Month for the Health and PE Department. Um, I've had the pleasure of having Maddie in class, um, or I, I usually call her Quick, um, for the past four years. And currently I have her for outdoor education. Some words that describe Maddie, um, she's responsible, reliable, kind, friendly, helpful, uh, hardworking, um, and always comes to class with a positive attitude. I can think of different times during class where I've been struggling and she's offered to help me or she did help me, um, which is very much appreciated. Maddie's also one of a small handful of students that always has her online assignments done, submitted on time, um, which I really appreciate. Um, it's a joy to have Maddie in class and always see her um, bright smile. And I'm thankful that I've gotten to know her over the the past four years, and I wish her a lot of luck in the future. Nice job, Maddie.
member of the West Salem High School Science Department, and our Science Student of the Month for December is Alex Horman. Uh, I chose Alex because he is a really great student, a very hard worker. He's always prepared for class, completes his assignments ahead of time, um, contributes in class whenever I ask questions, and I'm looking for ideas from students. Uh, he is really genuinely kind and respectful to others, and I love his great attitude. He finds the positive in everything and is always giving his personal best, and I truly appreciate Alex's great sense of humor and friendly smile when he comes to class every day. It's really been an honor and a pleasure to have Alex in my classes over the last two years. Congratulations, Alex, December uh, Science Student of the Month. So I teach social studies at the high school and this month for the student of the month I'm nominating Madison Odenbach. Madison is an excellent student and leader in the classroom. She excels in her class work but what sets her apart is her initiative. Madison was inquiring about National History Day and she made the effort to go above and beyond and make a documentary. From contacting others to interview in Pennsylvania to paging through primary sources, her dedication and hard work is admirable. She has a zest for history and takes charge of her learning. Her kind spirit makes her a joy to have in class. Yay! Braden Trinwith for student of the month for January. Braden's a freshman this year, um, but Braden has come in and right away got straight to work, um, stays on top of all of his classes. He has yet to have a missing assignment all year, perfect attendance. Um, he is always receptive to feedback, um, willing to work when asked to, super polite and kind guy, um, great person to have in class. I have a lot of great things to say about Brayden, and um, congratulations on being January's Student of the Month. Wow, what great stories on the great students we've got here at West Salem High School. I think it's interesting that every time we, we have the Breakfast of Champions, we do hear about uh, academic success in the classroom, but more so we hear about the character of the students. And in times like these, we know that uh, that adversity reveals that character and it makes us super proud to, to have students uh, attending West Salem High School with the attributes that, that you just heard. Uh, students, thank you so much. Um, as we focus on you being college and career ready, even during this uh, unique times, um, it's, it's exciting to hear you uh, be successful in that way. And I also wanna thank our staff um, staff, as, as, as you know, they work uniquely this year uh, with so many students and the opportunity to connect with these kids, to recognize these students, and to continue to move us forward in, in developing students that are college and career ready from West Salem High School is just an honor and makes us proud to, to hear that as well. So thank you. Congratulations, students and families, and go Panthers. Go Panthers.